today we're gonna try and get our latest Windows 10 creators update which is 1703 the version okay um, now you've probably tried this you've gone to settings okay literally you've clicked on here gone to settings clicked on update check for updates it's done a million times and you just haven't got there okay now there's a couple of ways one little link will pop up in a minute okay but we're suggesting you use the mainstream version which is over here if you just type in Windows 10 ISO it'll bring you right to the very first thing Microsoft.com okay download and Windows 10 now does the update now um, program button link and as you can see it says um, it's the creators update so update now that's a six and a half meg or so file there we go we can just run it and we'll shut down that just bring you back up over here I'm still checking for updates see you didn't find it can't get there okay and that went through a check to see if the updater needed to be updated in this case we were lucky it didn't so update now it checks CPU memory disk space all those things and you could just hang around watch the clock or click next it's up to you and it's gonna download about oh, four gigs roughly a little bit more um, worth of your latest Windows 10 so we should pause this video and give it some time to download and resume at that point so after downloading it it then now starts to upgrade it and this will also take some time and we should resume towards the end of this process rather than constantly bringing you back in and showing you little bits at a time. Generally it's a straightforward process and should see you soon. And now it comes to the part where basically it has finished updating it. It went through the 100% and now it needs to restart the computer. So we'll restart it. Okay, or you could wait 30 minutes. Let's restart now and we should get back to you once it reboots okay. and we're back after a number of restarts and then it going from 0 to 30 then another restart and then all the way up to 100 we get this okay or a screen before this which had our username and then basically we go forward now we're back to an how a normal install is and it's privacy settings and as we know Windows does like to increase its knowledge of us and how we use it okay so I'm actually rather than just gonna go ahead I'm gonna change things a little bit okay okay Da, da, da. Relevant ads, except new apps. Okay, you can choose your default apps over here. Click next. Like normal, it goes through almost like a new PC. It did ask us to log on just a minute back. Let's just see. and here we are we're now into the latest version of Windows 10 and this is that update assistant just exit out of it okay it's got edge it's got kind of like info on 
what the creators update has, etc., etc. We'll just shut that down for now, and we'll bring this up. Okay, looks like normal. All goody goody. Okay, let's just check. It should have that 3D preview, 3D paint, and all those extra new bits that it adds. And as expected, it's probably done a lot of other resets as well on group policies, and maybe security policies, and privacy, etc., etc. Also, we have heard from others where certain programs of theirs that does work within Windows 10, the Creators Edition, being uninstalled. So, in case you get to this position where you find certain settings or whatever that cannot be restored, or applications that cannot be restored, gone, okay? We shall show you now how to go backwards and restore Windows to how it was prior to this new version, which is, if you look at it, Winver, it says 1703. Okay, so now it's time to show you how to go back. All you need to do is click on there, go to Settings, find the typical update and security thing. As you can see, things are a little bit different. This looks a little bit nicer, all lovely jovely, but if your programs aren't working, you obviously need to go back. Okay, recovery. Go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Get started. Why are you going back? You can give the help desk or Windows a reason, let's say, whatever, my apps and devices don't work on this build, or another reason. Okay, this is just customer support things. Um, now, what you need to know Okay, so one thing you do need to know, that you might need to reinstall some apps and programs when you go back, hopefully not. Go back to earlier build. So here we are, it's resorted back to the original. Okay, um, let's just give a quick little check, as you can see. All our 3D stuff is gone. Everything else is gone. On the restore, we've also lost our some of our settings. And what this tells us is quite simply, we need to do a full backup of our entire Windows system drive and all its other folders. A full, complete backup, basically as per one of our previous videos, which should be linked in the description. Um, so here we go, folks. Um, you've got the latest version. We showed you it does change settings. It gives you new features. We've told you there are some issues with it currently at present. We've shown you how to go back to your old version. We've also shown you your old version might not have the same settings as you left it with. Okay, so hopefully this has helped. Um, have a great day. Thank you for watching.